Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The mobile internet is like an information highway. It has not only spawned many new economies and new business formats, allowing people to enter the internet era and the intelligent era, but also created a large number of jobs. The social value it has created is immeasurable. However, in this field, from the 2G to 4G era, it was almost monopolized by the American company Qualcomm. Because Qualcomm has mastered a large number of basic patents and set industry standards, it can make tens of billions in net profit every year just by collecting patent license fees. Many mobile phone manufacturers have become their wage earners, simply making money while lying down. However, the strong rise of Huawei's 5G is like a sharp knife that has penetrated into the heart of Qualcomm, making this dominant communications giant feel the threat from Chinese companies for the first time. Although the United States has launched a series of sanctions against Huawei in recent years, which has seriously damaged Huawei's vitality, in the end Huawei achieved a breakout. Not only did Kareen Core return again, but its 5G business became the number one in the world. It is no exaggeration. To put it bluntly, Qualcomm can no longer compete with Huawei in terms of chips or 5G. After knowing that it could not surpass Huawei in the 5G field, the United States put its hope on 6G. It also roped in South Korea, Japan and Europe to form the 6G alliance in an attempt to regain the first place in the 6G field in the future. In fact, judging from the current 6G concept, the number of patents, the number of ground base stations, terahertz, and satellite pit locations are all core. In terms of the number of patents, the 6G alliance formed by the United States has surpassed China, and in terms of the number of satellite pit locations, with Musk's Starlink plan, the United States is far ahead of China. It can be said that it currently has a great advantage. However, as the leader of 5G, China has also already laid out its plans in the 6G field. For example, China ranks first in the world in terms of the number of 6G core patents with 35%, and has also successfully launched multiple communication satellites, and even has similar satellites. The GW constellation plan of the chain plan, comprehensively speaking, even compared with the 6G alliance formed by the United States, China can still be invincible. In order to catch up with China as soon as possible in the 6G field, the United States, led by the United States, Australia, Canada, the Czech Republic, Finland, France, Japan, South Korea, and the United Kingdom, suddenly jointly issued a statement. Jointly develop 6G, share technical resources and formulate 6G rules, but exclude China. To put it bluntly, the United States is now uniting 10 countries to form a new 6G alliance. In fact, it is declaring war on China's 6G and attempting to completely block it. Huawei and other Chinese companies' technology and equipment are used and sold in these countries. Not only that, the US company NVIDIA with a market value of more than $2 trillion, also announced an important decision not long ago, which is to attract giants such as Samsung, Google, Ericsson and Microsoft to form the ARN alliance, 
and has already announced it at the MWC 2024 conference in Barcelona. Was established, and NVIDIA even submitted a report to the US government, stating that Huawei has become NVIDIA's only competitor. You must know that NVIDIA is currently the strongest AI chip giant. This means that in the future era of artificial intelligence, US companies will still have an absolute advantage in the field of high-end AI chips. With the development of the new 6G Alliance and AIRAN Alliance have been established one after another, China will also be faced with a huge crisis in the future 6G era and artificial intelligence era. In this regard, many foreign media have said, the crisis for Huawei and other Chinese companies is coming. In fact, the reason why the United States made such a decision is that China is too strong in 6G and Huawei has become the world's number one in the 5G field. Coupled with the return of Karine Kaur, it will surely rise strongly in the future. So in order to, to confront China, the United States and its companies have chosen to join forces for warmth and join forces to isolate China. But what they never expected was that not long ago, China successfully launched the Gravity One rocket with the largest takeoff thrust in the world and successfully sent the three satellites number 18, 19 and 20 into the scheduled space. Orbit which means that within the same period of time, China can launch more satellites into space, which can help China quickly establish a satellite network similar to the Starlink project. In addition, in terms of AI chips, the high-end GPU chips, jointly developed by Huawei Ascend and iFlytek, are gradually replacing NVIDIA. Even if NVIDIA's high-end AI chips cannot be imported in the future, China can still produce and be self-sufficient. Not only that, Huawei also released the first large-scale model of the communications industry on February 26. All signs illustrate the fact that even if the United States wants to form various alliances to isolate and exclude Huawei and other technology companies, from the perspective of core technology look, China still has the advantage, and Chinese companies such as Huawei have not failed, but will rise strongly in the future. Please like if you agree.